The back and forth between the U.S. and China is quickly escalating into an all-out trade war between two of the world's biggest economies. In this latest round, D.C. has imposed penalties on $200 billion worth of Chinese goods, and that's set to increase further at the beginning of next year. Trump clearly means business. We're also cracking down on the unfair trade practices from China. We have far more bullets. We're going to go $200 billion at 25%. Chinese made goods, and we will come back with more if they retaliate. We have a lot more to come back with. But China isn't taking any of this lightly. They've hit back and added more tariffs on American products worth up to $110 billion. And it might not stop there. Trump has already threatened to impose tariffs on effectively all U.S. imports from China. But what does this all mean for the average American consumer? According to Walmart, the country's biggest retailer, price hikes. We are very concerned about the impact these tariffs would have on our business, our customers, our suppliers, and the U.S. economy as a whole. The company listed the goods that will be hit ranging from food products to vehicles to toilet paper. And Walmart's not the only company quaking at the thought of an economic battle. Alibaba chairman Jack Ma is saying he can no longer deliver on bringing a million jobs to the U.S. market. This promise was on the basis of friendly China-U.S. cooperation and reasonable bilateral trade relations. But the current situation has already destroyed that basis. This promise can be completed. And that's got to hurt, given how much Trump loves to talk up how he's creating more jobs for Americans. Nevertheless, the U.S. president seems confident employment figures will continue to rise, so it's full steam ahead. Tariffs have put the U.S. in a very strong bargaining position, with billions of dollars and jobs flowing into our country. And yet cost increases have thus far been almost unnoticeable. If countries will not make fair deals with us, they will be tariffed. But China looks to be digging in their heels, scrapping planned trade talks. And tariffs aren't the only friction between Washington and Beijing. The U.S. also slapped sanctions on China over the purchase of Russian military equipment, claiming the deal is a violation of a law meant to punish Moscow for alleged meddling in the 2016 presidential election. Again, China isn't backing down. They said they're going to continue cooperation with Russia and will take it to a new level. Beijing summoned the U.S. ambassador and recalled their Navy commander from a trip to America, calling the measures a mistake. We strongly call on the U.S. to remedy the mistake and cancel the sanctions. Otherwise, the U.S. has to bear the consequences. So as the stalemates pile up, so does uncertainty for Chinese and Americans alike.